Hi everybody, uh, John Monroe here, one of the instructors on the Global Cold War class. Out for a bike ride, and I had the idea of seeing if I could introduce myself to you while riding my bike along the canal. Let's see if it works. Okay, so hi. Uh, starting with the uh, university logo, appropriately enough. So, um, my name is John Monroe. I will be teaching the uh, detente and 1980s parts uh, of the class. Um, I'm looking forward to, to meeting you. Um, little preview, well I guess a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a historian of the United States. I wrote a book about the African American Civil Rights Movement in a global context, mostly looking at the 1940s and 1950s. So I'm really interested in the intersection between decolonization and the Cold War, which I know we're talking about a lot in this module. So by the time you see me again, uh, I will be lecturing on, hi, excuse me, I will be lecturing on the 70s and 80s. So for detente, um, we'll start in Angola and draw a kind of arc that reaches up to Afghanistan. Looking not so much at detente, we'll start a little bit with about what it is, but we'll mostly talk about, uh, oh, here's the tunnel. We'll mostly talk about why it ended. Um, and so then we'll turn from there to kind of the aftermath of detente in Europe. Final week of the course, we will look at Gorbachev's Soviet Union, really centering the Soviet Union in the story of the um, demise of communism uh, rather than the United States, which is often the case. From there, we'll look at globalization, economic globalization. Uh, finally, the fall of the Berlin Wall as kind of the major uh, event that officially ended it all. And then, I guess, some wrap up comments about the Cold War, its significance, and what it means. So the detente, uh, this is what inspired me to do this, the detente era US President Gerald Ford, who said that he couldn't chew gum and walk at the same time. So I thought, let's see if I can introduce myself to you uh, while riding my bike. It seems to have worked. I look forward to seeing you all in week 10.